Reducing prescription drug costs for everyday Americans. That's what the Congressman Alma Adams and U.S. Secretary of Health and Human Services, Xavier Becerra, came to Charlotte to discuss this morning. And our chief political correspondent, Emma Withrow, says they're highlighting the impact the Inflation Reduction Act has on had on lowering those drug costs. Joining us live now from Doc's Pharmacy, where the event happened. Emma, what can you tell us? So the Inflation Reduction Act actually includes a Medicare drug price negotiation program, and recipients of Medicare and Medicaid are already seeing the benefits and the results of this program in our area. Congresswoman Adams and Secretary Becerra met Charlene Wilson at Doc's Pharmacy, who just started benefiting from this. Well, the bill that was just passed, it helps me out a lot because I take several different medicines. The Inflation Reduction Act, also known as the IRA, includes a Medicare drug price negotiation program. Through the program, Health and Human Services will be negotiating prescription drug costs with pharmaceutical companies to put price caps on certain medications for Medicare recipients. Wilson was previously paying more than $100 for every insulin prescription she picked up, but after the IRA was passed and HHS started enforcing price caps, she only pays $35 for every insulin prescription. When I ordered my medicine, and this month, well, last month, it was uh, $35, and I'm like, are you sure? Don't come back to me asking for more money because I'm budgeting. But Congressman Adams and Secretary Becerra both agreed the price caps need to be expanded beyond just Medicare and Medicaid recipients. There are a whole bunch of folks who are on insulin who aren't on Medicare who really deserve a chance to, to benefit from having low-cost prescription medication. And so what comes next is working with a congresswoman to make sure we can expand this great benefit that President Biden made available to Americans, to everyone. So during the event today, Congresswoman Adams really stressed the fact that North Carolina needs to expand Medicaid. We know it's been talked about back and forth among, generalist, among the General Assembly, and it has received some bipartisan support from legislators, but at this point they still haven't voted to expand that. It happened last session, and so they're bringing it up again this session. We're just going to have to wait and see what the General Assembly decides. But if they do decide to expand Medicaid here in North Carolina, it would benefit quite a lot of people. We're just going to have to wait and see, though. But for now, reporting live from Doc's Pharmacy on Freedom Drive, Emma Withrow, Queen City News.